Hello, I'm Jean Ricano for CGS TV. I'm here with uh, Sebastien Legui from Algorithmic, who's going to tell us about Substance Painter. Uh, what is Substance Painter? Painter exactly. So Substance Painter is the new, the new kid on the block. It's uh, the new software tool that we released uh, about less than a year ago. Uh, it's a 3D painting application dedicated to uh, game developers mostly and uh, 3D enthusiasts, and it's been a tremendous success so far. We're super, super happy and went from zero to 20,000 active users in less than 12 months, wow. which might be actually the, the fastest start in the, in ever in the in history of uh, computer graphics. So we're, uh, we're pretty... It's very impressive. It is impressive, and even to us actually. We were not expecting that. We we're hoping for something because, uh, I mean, the first test we've done with it and uh, the people we, we've shown it to at the beginning, they were super enthusiastic. but turning that enthusiasm into something that uh, actually sells. It's something different, so we made it, and we're very happy, the community is super happy, so we're, it's a win-win. Fantastic. So, who uses your product exactly? Is it from hobbyists, professionals, studios? Who uses your product? Actually, with this one, it's interesting because it's both. Uh, it's uh, like the AAA guys, the AAA game developers, um, and uh, they, they use it for some aspect of the, the production pipeline. Uh, and yeah, on the other side of the spectrum, you have the, all these enthusiasts and the, uh, uh, game, I mean, 3D artist overall, and they, they use it because it's a fun tool to use, it's very easy to pick up. Um, so it's really both, and it's interesting to see also that uh, some features that we thought would be appealing to only to the, to the game enthusiasts, and not the game enthusiasts, the, the, 3D, art, the 3D creation enthusiasts, actually are super interesting to also the, the, the AAA game developers and studios because they are, they are artists overall, and they want, to, they want to see what they're creating, even though if it's if it's for something like a, a game engine that is dedicated to game engine in the end, so they, they should focus on really the aspect of the albedo map and the normal map and the, the, on the technicality of things. But they are, they're having so much fun in Substance Painter that actually they, they use Substance Painter for creating like the, a beauty shot of what they do. Substance Painter is much more than just color, of course. You work on all the specular, Absolutely. tech color, the Material. diffuse. Yeah. yeah, the whole material. So basically, the, one of the main differences between Substance Painter and the competition is you, you paint uh, directly a full material. So you, what, with one stroke, what you paint is the, the color definition, also the, the roughness, uh, the specularity, the, the relief, and all this information that makes it uh, a full material. And Are you able to change your materials afterwards uh, with the parameters? So, um, in, yes, with, if you use it in some way, yes, you can do that. And actually, under the hood, it's a completely non-linear tool. You know we liked it. You know, we know uh, Substance Designer, um, our previous product, and our still current product, obviously, but uh, it's, uh, we're, we're all about non-linear processes and, uh, and parametric approaches. So everything you do, every action you do in Substance Painter is actually recorded. So it's a, you don't know it yet, and it, it's not exposed that much yet, but it's a, a complete vector painting application. Okay. Uh, and you were t t telling us about something um, the, the particle painting you were yeah. talking about earlier, what is that? Particle painting is the idea of uh, how to use the twist the arms of a particle system uh, to, to use that to paint. So you instead of painting with a stroke, you launch a bunch of particles and you say now behave like your water. And, and there's gravity and that gravity goes that direction. So when you throw partic these particles on, onto an object, it will basically follow the shape of the object and, and follow down and leave traces behind. So, gravity. so and it's exactly gravity will help and it will take into account all the little details and for you it will draw like the stains that you will have to draw by hand. Awesome. Uh, in, yeah, without it. Well, forget Angry Birds. This looks a lot more fun. So thank you, fun. thank you very much, Sebastien. <laughs> this is Jean-Éric Henault for CGS TV.